All right, here we go, guys. Coach Mac, play fast football. All right, today I'm going to uh, do a short video with you uh, talking about a drill that we use that we call a ping pong drill uh, when we are um, trying to get our defensive guys used to playing against uh, playing against some tempo stuff and some different formations or if I want to get them acclimated back into seeing different formations on the fly and make it as stressful as I can. This is a drill that we use as an abbreviation to uh, some other tempo uh, things that we do. Make sure you check out some of our sponsors, Game Strats, the sideline replay system we use. High and Tight is a uh, is a ball security training aid that we use with our skill players. It's got an auditory device in there that you have to hear the beep to make sure that you're doing holding the ball correctly, proper points of pressure. Just Play Football is the digital software that we use uh, to diagram plays if I'm speaking at clinics or if I'm doing anything with webinars or podcasts or anything where I might need video uh, clips that go on videos or diagrams, I use Just Play uh, for my presentations. Um, Baker Sporting Goods is the local sporting goods company we use. They provide us with our coaching gear, our, our coaching apparel, so my Adidas pants that I have on now, my Adidas Raider shirt that I have on now. They provide us with our uniforms, they provide us with any of our uh, uh, fan gear. We set up fan stores uh, through Baker Sporting Goods, so Baker Sporting Goods is a local company that provides us with everything that we need all right, in, uh, in, in our football program, from our uniforms to our spirit packs to our coaches gear to our fan gear. All right, um, Difference USA, the ultimate striking machine. We have one in our weight room. All right, it's just a pad that you strike. It's got multiple resistance coils in there, springs in there, so you can change the resistance. So you can do it inside your weight room. You could hook it up outside on the field. If you had multiple ones, you could have three in your weight room on your squat racks and three out on the field, so you can do individual work during the season, off season, get thousands of reps without needing a partner. Perfect during a pandemic like this because you can just strike all right, the pad, and then each time you strike the pad, you can wipe the pad down. You don't have to worry about being, you can do the drill by yourself. You don't have to be uh, in contact with anybody else. There doesn't have to be anybody else around. Coach can stand near the pad. You can keep it as socially distant as you need to. So uh, perfect setup for the times that we are in right now. And then as always, Dome Hats is the headwear sponsor of Play Fast Football. This is my white Play Fast Football hat that they did for us. All right, you can uh, go on their uh, website, www domeheadwear.co you can get on their uh, custom hat builder and you can generate your own hat you can choose from different hat styles different enclosures on the back snapback uh, velcro fitted different bills in the front flat versa all the different bills that you can choose from you can change the panel color you can change the button color the eyelid color the stitching color generate your own uh, whether whether it be for your business football team baseball team any athletic program staff administration whatever it is you can generate your own hat custom with a logo that you build and you build it your way so make sure you check out dome headwear all right so uh, when i'm talking about this ping pong drill all right what we do is and for us this is this is a drill that we do when we are trying to put some stress on our players to get lined up to get lined up quickly to get from position to position while getting a call so so we are training their eyes to go from all right one spot to another while getting their their eyes to the coach to get a call and getting the call on the fly and then lining up to a formation. So we do it with spacers, all right? And right now we're talking about a time where we don't really going into the second round of the playoffs. We don't want to um, we don't want to be repping two scout groups versus our defense um, and, and with live plays and getting all those reps live because we want to make it through the game Friday. So we've only got certain amounts of live periods and live reps that we're going to get. All right, so there's things that we're focusing on this week that we need to see in live team periods. So we need to be able to see tempo and, and getting our eyes right and getting calls and putting some stress on our free safety to see different formations. All right, we need to do that in a period that doesn't involve contact. So we do it in what I call a ping pong drill period. So what I do is I set up two spacers about 30 yards apart. All right, the reason I set the spacers up is now we don't need an O-line for the D-line to get lined up to. We can just line up on the spacers. All right, and then I have a coach on each side, all right, with, with formations and five skill players that he's going to be sitting, all right, groups up in formations. So you, you only need, I only need 10 scout players, and that's one of the reasons we really like this drill is if we were ever short on, on scout players or short on bodies, if you've got a junior high team or a JV team and you don't have enough bodies to give you two, tw you know, 22 players in a scout group, this is a real easy way to do a drill like this, create some stress on the defense and still be able to get lined up, all right, two formations because we get... Spacer on each side about 30 yards apart, a coach with five skills, so we only need 10 scout bodies. 
We need two coaches, one on each side, and we only need 10 scout bodies. We don't need 22 scout bodies, okay? The DC or the play caller, it, it, for, for us, it's me on the side. I'm going to stand on the side, off the side, off to the side, off the field. And I'm going to give our defense a call. And they're going to line up on that first offensive group, and they're going to, on, and when the ball moves, we're going to go down, set hut, and we're going to have somebody snap the ball to the coach. And when the ball moves, we're going to execute the stunt, the blitz, the movement, whatever it may be. We're not really worried about the play. We're worried about the formation, we're worried about being lined up, and then we're worried about executing the stunt so I can see that my guys got the stunt call. So most of the time when I'm doing this drill, almost every play is going to have some D-line movement or some type of pressure so that I can make sure we see coverages, make sure my D-line moves, because what I want to see is as the drill goes on about four or five minutes and they go back and forth, all right, so what's going to happen is my defense is going to be here, I'm going to give them a call, this group's going to run a play down, set up, we're going to step through our... Our, uh, we're going to get in our stances, we're going to step through our movement, our blitz, whatever it may be. Defense is then going to turn and sprint, okay, to this side. And now they're going to get lined up to a formation that's already set up, all right, because these coaches are taught, he's already got the deep, the drill starts on this side, he already has a, a, a formation in the, in the scout book or whatever it is ready to go. So that when the defense sprints there, they have to get their eyes to the coach. So I need them to sprint one way while getting their eyes to the sideline because that's really what football is. You're trying to get lined up to the next play. When you find the next play, you need to get your eyes because we don't, all of our guys on our defense look for our signals. We don't huddle up. We don't make all right calls. Our guys look for our signals. So these guys got to learn how to sprint with some type of sense of urgency to get to this spacer while they get their eyes to the coach or the coordinator to get a call. And now that they're running this way, they've got to be able to line up and execute that call versus whatever the set may be. And I try to get my coaches here, all right, I try to make sure that we are carrying different formations so that I want this coach to have something that is 10, 11, or 20, 21, 22, whatever it may be, and I want this guy to have similar formations, all right, so that as we go back and forth, we're not just going back and forth to all 10 personnel. We're not going back and forth to all 11 personnel. Well, we're trying to change it up because the idea is we want to stress the free safety making the coverage calls and the weak side safety away from the free safety making the coverage calls. All right, and then with the with you know with with the line, we want to stress if we got different fronts or we need to be lined up differently to tight ends. We got the spacer down. You got skills. Anybody that's outside that tackle box at tight end now we might need to see a different front. If we're trying to set the front. All right, I need to put the stress on that Mike linebacker that as he's running down, he needs to see the formation and where we're going to set it, and he needs to be making a shut call as we're running down. He needs to be making that shut call, and our guys need to be moving to that shut right, shut left call. I may give him field boundary, whatever it is. I got to give him, all right, a direction to set the front, and we got to get a call so that our free safety can set the coverage based on what the call is. So we're working against tempo. We're not working live against tempo, all right? A lot of people, and, and myself included, earlier in the year, if I had enough bodies to do so, you would have your defense work against two different scout groups that were rifling plays out as fast as possible. So scout group would want to play while the other group is already in, in the huddle getting their play. All right, when that play's over, your guys get lined up as quick as you can. That other scout group comes out, they're ready to go while the other scout group is getting the play. All right, so that's the way with live reps you would execute trying to work on tempo is you would have two scout groups going against your defense. Well, at this time of the year, I don't really want all those bodies going. I don't have all those bodies going because I'm trying to make it through. All right, we're now in 10th uh, game of the season, 12th to 13th week of the season, okay? Round two of the, or round, however you want to look at the playoffs, play in, round one after the play in, however you want to look at it, we're now in round two of what the state set up as a playoff system. All right, so we've got to make sure that we are getting proper reps, but we're also trying to keep in mind during this time of the year how to stay healthy and get to Friday. Because you can't win if you don't get to Friday with all your best players. So we want to be physical at times. We want to work on run fits and, and doing things. All right. First thing we opened up this week was um, tackling circuits that we did on bags and, and other things. Because we want to keep working on the things that we need to win. But at the same time, we've got to get to the game on Friday. So this drill is a way for me to put stress on the defense. Now, one of the other reasons I like it. A lot of times when you get into game weeks, you are focused on your game plan. And against certain teams that may involve one or two personnel groups or maybe three, four formations, whatever it may be, depending on who you're playing, right? I like to do this drill so I show every formation that I can think of from every personnel group so that our guys have to at least remember how to line up to it so if we see it again in a week or two, it's not foreign to us. Because I don't know 
about the kids you have in high school, but the kids I have, if we get away for some, from something for a week or two and we don't go over it, rep it, do it, if we see it again in three weeks, our kids, it's almost like we forgot sometimes how to play what we played three weeks ago. All right, so I try to carry different things in so that even though, the, you know, there may be four formations going on here that we won't see that week in the game. All right, I'm not worried so much about the fact that we won't see those in the game. What I'm worried about is making sure that during this 10-minute period, we can line up to those things in case we see them again eventually down the road. All right, so we're working on stressing the defense. We're making our guys run. Two days ago, we did the drill on a Monday, all right, and we were missing one or two D linemen from the practice that, that weren't there at the time we did the drill, all right, and when they got to practice, by the time they got to practice, okay, the one defensive lineman that we had going was so gassed from doing this on air just because of the tempo, the pace, and the stress we're trying to put on those players, all right, so he went 10 minutes without a backup, and you got to remember, this is 30 yards every time. So this is 30 yards to 30 yards to 30 yards to 30 yards, trying to get them to sprint and run. And then the scout group starts to up the pace. So as they're running, they're getting the call. As they're running the line up, the, the coach is already going, hey, down, set. And, and he's starting to get that sense of urgency. So we, we try to pick the pace up to get these guys to understand it is stressful. Playing against tempo is stressful. But we got to teach them to be able to get calls, get lined up, and then get your eyes right, okay? So what happens when you play tempo teams a lot of times is you have trouble getting lined up, trouble getting calls, but then your guys start to panic because they can't get lined up and they can't get calls, and then their eye discipline goes crazy, and they start doing their own thing, at least I know in my experience. All right, so we've got to try and make this as stressful as we can without making it live. All right, like I said, there are other ways to work against tempo. Early in the year, we would do it versus two scout groups. Right now, where we're at, at this point of the year, I don't want to use my offensive starters all right, in a scout group and risk getting anybody, in, uh, getting anybody hurt. So we're using JV guys that we called up and backup defensive guys. So we really don't have enough for two scout groups. So this is how we stress the defense with what we call our ping pong drill. Two spacers, two coaches, five skills on each side, so you only need ten skill players. Line up with a call, execute the call, all right, going through... The, the movements of the stunts, everything I do in here is either a D-line movement or a blitz. Get the coverage calls right. Make sure the free safety is right. Make sure the weak side safety is echoing. Make sure the corners and the linebackers know what the coverages are. Make sure we know where to set the front, how the front needs to be set. Stress the defense by making them go back and forth while getting calls and then lining up the formations. This is a great little cheap and easy drill, guys. It's not revolutionary. It's not cutting edge. It's just a cheap and easy way to get your guys moving, to get them getting their eyes to the side for a call while then getting their eyes to line up, getting them to think about multitasking. I'm running, all right, I'm running to the ball, I'm looking for a call, I'm then looking at the formation, getting lined up, listening for shut calls, getting them to do all the things that they're going to need to do in a game set. All right, so easy little ping pong drill, easy to do. You don't need two scout groups. You can do it with just 10 skill players, two coaches. Not bad for conditioning depending on how up-tempo and how long you want to do the drill, but a great way to stress the eyes, all right, and, and, and the, the mental process of lining up right and your defensive procedure of how to get calls and how to get lined up and how to make coverage calls and how to, make, how to shut the front. So it's just really good to stress in a really cheap and safe, easy way to stress your defense and put that stress on them that they need when they go to play up-tempo teams. Okay, so I appreciate everything you guys do for Play Fast. Thanks for, uh, for watching the channel. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notifications on so you know every time we do a video. Make sure that you leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down whether you like the comment or don't so we know what comment to do, uh, so what content to do in the future. And then as always, leave a message or a comment in, in the comment box. I respond to every comment that gets through that's not spam or junk. Once I see it, I try to respond and get back to everybody and communicate that way. All right, so if you're still playing, good luck this week. If you're starting football in January or sometime, hopefully you get there, good luck. If you missed your season and you're going to be back in the spring next year, good luck. Stay safe. Do all the things we need to do to make sure that we can get all right, uh, the world back to the place that we once knew it, all right, and, uh, and make sure that you are doing your part in doing all of that to stay safe, all right, so wear your mask, do what you need to do, stay socially distant, it is what it is, we can't change it, just accept it, do your part, and move on, all right, I appreciate everything you guys do for us, I'll see you next time, remember, won't play well until you play fast, catch you next time.